tomorrow we never get back right tomorrow's gone <laughs> we don't get it back That's we can't tight. go back and live unless you have a really cool time machine let me know <laughs> so that motivates me to act now when you see an opportunity right. and you've planned and calculated the best that you can, you move to action and you learn as you go. And I think that's the adventure of being an entrepreneur. You're listening to the Kniep and It Real Jodcast. This is your host, Seth Kniep. What is up, everybody? This is Seth Kniep, Kniep It Real. Today, I'm honored to have Andy Chen on the podcast with me. And Andy Chen flew all the way from... San Francisco. To Austin, Texas. Why did you fly all the way out here, Andy? Well, first of all, I'm so thrilled here to meet Seth. And and this is actually one of the things I wanted to do a podcast with him since I've been knowing him um, for quite a long time. I'm so honored and so privileged um, to meet you here and do a podcast with you. Yeah, so glad to have you here. This is awesome. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Well, first of all, I just want to say, Andy, thank Mm -hmm. you for coming all the way out. Mm -hmm. Super honored to meet you. So really cool. Like we literally met in person how many minutes ago? Yes, it's about 10 minutes ago. We've known each other for about 10 minutes in person right. other than through email. Correct. So first mm-hmm. I'm going to ask a few questions about mm-hmm. done for you. I want to ask mm-hmm. why you're investing mm-hmm. in done for you mm-hmm. because right now there's a lot of bad rap online about any right. Amazon automation programs. Right. Why? Mm-hmm. And then second, and he's going to ask me a bunch of questions mm-hmm. about my journey and my story and mm-hmm. anything he wants to ask me about Amazon FBA, right. which I hope you guys really enjoy as well. So oh, my Thank first you. question is, yes. why are you investing in Done For You, where we build an Amazon store for you, mm-hmm. you're investing money in us, you're paying us to mm-hmm. build it, mm-hmm. and then we're doing a revenue share model. Please right. help me understand, Andy, why you're doing it. What motivated you? Amazon business is kind of complex business. It's not yes. like it's an easy, you know, you can just do everything by yourself. Right. It's a lot of times you need to have a team behind you to in order for you to succeed. You can probably succeed just by yourself, do the business with um, Amazon, but scaling in a large amount of profit, yeah. then you will need all this um, uh, team or um, you know people behind you. You won't be able to just work by yourself. It's kind of like the difference between someone starting a coffee shop on their own versus starting a coffee shop with a whole team of people who've been doing it for years. Exactly. There is going to be a different outcome 12 yeah. months later, a vast different outcome. When I started Amazon, mm-hmm. it was very difficult. Right. In fact, I started on eBay. I wasn't mm-hmm. getting any sales at all. Then I started <laughs> Amazon, started getting sales. Right. I didn't even know what the word differentiation meant. In order for this to work for you, Mm -hmm. it has to be set up to scale. Right. In other words, when we're doing 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 100,000, it has to be something that can scale. Right. And I just want to say thank you for flying out here. (laughs) It it, it is an honor to meet you. I'm so honored to meet you. And any questions I can answer for you at all, Andy, go for it, my friend. Okay, sounds good. So... As we know right now, Amazon is getting bigger and bigger. It's one of the richest uh, company in the world and it's gonna go again, it's bigger in the future. So I just wanted to know why Amazon is so attractive and it's the best way to get started to make money online right now. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because if someone was to say, Seth, start over completely. Mm -hmm. Take all your clothing, all your money, your car, your house, everything, Mm -hmm. except my family and my dog, please, (laughs) (laughs) and start over, what would I do? I would begin selling an Amazon Mm -hmm. again. It is the fastest way I know how to make money. Mm -hmm. Now, is it easy? It is not easy. Mm -hmm. It is hard. Mm -hmm. Um, You have to make a lot of mistakes along the way. But the reason, in my opinion, it is the best model on earth is because it is the fastest growing market sector. There's no market sector in the world today Mm -hmm. that is growing like Amazon. Mm -hmm. So when people say things like, oh, it's saturated, or oh, there's too much competition, or oh, there's too many, you know, uh, buyers from China, they're hijacking. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Have you even considered that this market is growing? How is it growing? Because Mm -hmm. customers Mm -hmm. are buying. Mm -hmm. Someone is gonna sell to those customers. Mm -hmm. And if it's not gonna be you, then it's gonna be someone else making that money. Mm -hmm. So just from to answer the question from a very broad point of view, Mm -hmm. the growth is on Amazon. The growth Mm -hmm. is massive. Mm -hmm. COVID, I had a lot of people, Andy, they would say, Seth, well, you know, during COVID, I should wait till things calm down. Mm -hmm. I said, that's the worst thing to do. You should start now. Mm -hmm. Because during COVID, while a lot of people are afraid to jump in, Mm -hmm. that's the time to jump in. Your competition is low. Lower, yes, right, it's right. actually caused more sales on Amazon. More people are buying on Amazon mm-hmm. than ever before. 
Exactly. Which I find fascinating. There were some elderly people who never bought an Amazon before. Now they're buying an Amazon. Oh, yeah. Even more of our groceries now come from Amazon. So <laughs> someone's going to make the money. My simple question is, do you want to be in the place where you're making that money or mm-hmm. are you going to let someone else take that opportunity for you? Yes. A lot of people right now, they're afraid of um, making money online yeah. through Amazon because of this COVID thing. Matter of fact, um, I find out actually more people are buying online because, you know, a lot of these uh, brick and mortar store, um, even myself, I have a brick and mortar store um, selling cell phone accessories. I have yeah. to close my business because of this pandemic. Yeah. And um, But you're not afraid. Yeah, I'm not afraid. Because you are a business person. You Correct. understand. You, yes. You could say to the world, mm-hmm. my business closed. I failed. Yeah, you're still going. Mm-hmm. You're here. You're right. investing in a team to build your Amazon store for you. Exactly. Like that's the, the I just want to say that's the mindset of a businessman. Exactly. So that's why, you know, I fly all the way from San Francisco to Austin, even like in, during this time, <laughs> yeah. because I'm so excited to do this bu- this kind of business right now. Yeah. This is actually the best time ever that you wanted to start the business with Amazon, because um, a lot of people, they right now, if you see what you call the revenue of Amazon in today's, uh, it's gonna be a lot more higher than previous year. Yeah. That's because you know, a lot of people are buying online. So this is yeah. actually the best time for people you know, uh, to start the business online. And on the other side, like, you know, Seth just mentioned, it's more and more competitors and more sellers are there afraid to sell the right. uh, on Amazon right, right now. We have less competition. It's true. So. It's very true. And Amazon has grown 22% mm-hmm. quarter over quarter, which is like phenomenal for a company that big to have right. that much growth. Exactly. Like when a company's tiny and you hear about it a thousand times, 200. Oh, yeah, but it's tiny. Like, yeah. but once you're huge to have 22%, 22%. growth quarter over quarter is That's almost, so massive, yeah. it's it's unbelievable. Like it's hard to even fathom how huge that is. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So um, that's um, for the first question. Then the second one, how is going to be Amazon going later? on um, because you know right now as pandemic going on a lot of people are buying online where do you think is amazon is going um after the pandemic is over so because so many more people are going to amazon mm-hmm. to buy mm-hmm. amazon almost broke mm-hmm. like when the pandemic happened and more people mm-hmm. started buying mm-hmm. amazon had an issue they had a problem it was a good problem mm-hmm. it's a problem that every businessman or businesswoman <laughs> wants to have <laughs> and that is they couldn't handle the amount of orders coming in they had an infrastructure issue that is why for a while mm-hmm. some of our products sitting in amazon fba and prime mm-hmm. people would have to wait two to three weeks for it to be shipped then they come back and cancel the order mm-hmm. so we had to take a bunch of products have them shipped fulfilled by merchant mm-hmm. in order to get it to them fast enough I now see. some people see that and they say oh no that's a problem actually This is a good thing. Mm -hmm. When people are going so much to a platform to buy Mm -hmm. that it's creating problems Mm -hmm. for the infrastructure, for the platform itself, Mm -hmm. that is a sign that things are actually going better. So my point is this, Mm COVID-19 has made Amazon stronger. Amazon has had to get stronger. They've had to rise up and realize, wait, we weren't ready for this many buyers. Mm -hmm. Now they're gonna be ready for more buyers. In other words, uh, right now, Amazon is gonna try to uh, scale more or their their infrastructure, in, yes. you know, in, 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 in the future, it's easier for everybody who wanted to sell on Amazon. Everything is already set uh, exactly. with Amazon. Yeah. Yep. What are the benefits for a third party seller like you and me and anyone who's going to sell things online on Amazon, considering Amazon FBA? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So when we first started selling, mm-hmm. I did not trust FBA. I didn't understand it. And I was very terrified to take mm-hmm. my product mm-hmm. that I worked so hard to build mm-hmm. and send it into a fulfillment center and mm-hmm. trust this place called Amazon mm-hmm. to do it for me. Mm-hmm. So when we started, we did FBM, Fulfilled by Merchant. Mm-hmm. And the day came where it was me and my wife and my kids Mm -hmm. from morning till night. Mm -hmm. We were pulling out tape, stuffing Mm -hmm. the products into packages, packaging Mm -hmm. them up. Uh, USPS would come by to the house every Mm -hmm. single day except Sunday. They would do an automatic pickup. Mm -hmm. And it got to a point where it was just crazy. And we realized I can't spend my whole day. I don't have any more time Mm -hmm. to find new products (laughs) because I'm spending all my time fulfilling these orders. So to answer your question, Andy, the number one biggest benefit to FBA Mm is that they fulfill the orders for me. Mm -hmm. Even though there is a price for that, 
if I have calculated my margins correctly, mm -hmm. I will end up making so much more money mm -hmm. using FBA mm -hmm. than FBM. Mm -hmm. And we did. Right. And because they are giving me time back in my day, That's now true. I can launch more and more products mm -hmm. and focus on growing my business mm -hmm. instead of just working in the business. Right. Not to mention the fact that they handle over 98% mm -hmm. of all customer concerns as well, yeah. which is a huge burden. Most retailers, I mean, I'm sure you experienced it. Right. Yeah. Some people who come in as customers, they can be very difficult to work with. That's true, yeah. Amazon takes care of the vast majority of those for us. Exactly. Amazon FBA is mean that fulfillment by Amazon. Amazon is going to do all everything by storing your product in their warehouse. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to rent your own warehouse to have your product sell uh, on Amazon. Exactly. You just use Amazon uh, warehouse to store your product. And Seth already mentioned you have to pack the uh, items and then, you know, put the label and have the USPS to pick it up. Everything is done by Amazon. And the last thing, Amazon also is going to take care of the customer service. If customer wanted to return the items, Amazon customer service, we're going to take, uh, take care of them. Right. Yeah. Well said. Exactly. Uh, they fulfill it for you. Yes. Yep. So. Next question that I'd like to ask before, maybe you already mentioned, you know, people have question about competition and people knows that many people making awesome money with Amazon, but a lot of people things that, oh, they already missed the opportunity. A lot of competition is too saturated. Yeah. And how you address that uh, question though? So first of all, mm -hmm. competition is not bad. Mm -hmm. Competition is good. Competition mm -hmm. is good for the customer. Mm -hmm. It's actually also good for the business owner. Mm -hmm. It means we're gonna do a better job. Mm -hmm. We can't just get lazy and post a product and expect someone to buy it. <laughs> We actually have to know that we are offering value in a way that no one else is. So the answer to the competition is twofold. Number one, have you differentiated your product? If I go to Amazon and I search for your product and I see it, it needs to be fulfilling a need that all the competitors are not fulfilling. I have to find a way to uh, fit my product into a niche, a niche need that no one else is doing. Right. So that's the first thing. I see. Mm -hmm. Second, not only can I, do I need to be adding extra value that no one else is doing, yeah. but I need to be creating a product mm -hmm. that builds a brand. In other words, if there is competition on a product, mm -hmm. my opportunity is to build a brand. Right. Today, people go to Amazon more than they ever have before mm -hmm. looking for brands. Let's say, mm -hmm. for example, someone's into camping. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, I need camping goods. I need a company I can trust mm -hmm. for my camping material. Nice. So they go to Amazon, they find a brand that they trust, mm -hmm. They begin to use that product mm -hmm. and as they use it, they go, oh my goodness, I love this brand. So what happens is the love goes from the listing when they first see it on Amazon mm -hmm. to the product once they receive the product mm -hmm. and then to the brand mm -hmm. once they realize the customer service, the follow-up, the insert card, mm -hmm. and just the fact that the product is a great quality. One mm -hmm. more thought on that. Mm -hmm. If someone is worried about competition, keep in mind people are constantly looking for new products on Amazon. Mm -hmm that no one is selling. Mm -hmm. Every day, there are products being searched on Amazon mm -hmm. and nothing's coming up. You can go into use product research tools to find what people are looking for mm -hmm. or run a PPC campaign mm -hmm. for a product that is not available mm -hmm. on Amazon net yet. Mm -hmm. Some people assume, well, Amazon has everything. They don't. There's many products they don't have. Mm -hmm. And new products continue to be invented in mm -hmm. non-Amazon platforms. Mm -hmm. Then people go to Amazon to find it no one is selling no it. Selling it Additionally, if you do, if you are committed to a category, let's just say it's kitchen materials, mm -hmm. then niche down to uh, coffee materials, mm -hmm. coffee accessories. Keep niching down niching until you find a niche where the competition is much lower, mm -hmm. and then you can carve out a brand in that space. Mm -hmm. If the competition is too high, one of two things is happening. Mm -hmm. Either the product is not differentiated well enough, mm -hmm. or they haven't niched down to a sub, 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 sub category mm -hmm. because it's easier to be king of a pond mm -hmm. than the emperor of the ocean. Okay. You see what I mean? Yep. It is easier exactly. to dominate a sub sub category than a main category. So start with the sub, then sub later as you grow, you can expand yeah, into the bigger yeah. categories. I see, I yeah. see. Yep, that's a good point. So yeah, so again, you know, when you start the business, don't worry about the competitors. You know, uh, competitors actually, what Seth mentioned, it's actually, it's a good thing. It shows you that this product is selling. So you just have to make it ahead of those competitors, you make your product is better than everyone else. Exactly. So in that way, you know, when people looking for all these different uh, sellers over there, they can see right away at their eyes, there's a difference between your product and any other um, sellers they have all out there. Yeah. So what will be the biggest mistake of a new Amazon sellers when they start 
um, you know, selling online with Amazon. Not starting sooner. Not starting sooner. That's the biggest. There's more I could share, okay. and I could share lots of my mistakes as well, but I not see. starting sooner. Because a lot of people, they wait, mm -hmm. and I understand the, the desire to make sure everything's playing perfectly. <laughs> you know, I have all my, mm -hmm. uh, my LLC is set up. I got mm -hmm. my business insurance. Mm -hmm. I have, you know, a warehouse if I need one. Mm -hmm. I have my suppliers. Mm -hmm. If someone feels that everything has to be set up perfectly before mm -hmm. they launch, what's going to happen is when they launch, something's going to disrupt their plan. It always happens. You know this as a businessman. Exactly. Something yeah. happens. Exactly. The market doesn't go as well as you thought. <laughs> a supplier ends up lying to you. Exactly. Or your product takes off like crazy more than you expected. Right. And then if they are stuck to their plan, they're going to get really frustrated. I'm not saying don't plan. We should plan. Mm -hmm. But we need to plan, but also leave margin yeah. for needing to pivot. Because problems will come, unexpected surprises, mm -hmm. good surprises mm -hmm. will happen, mm -hmm. and we have to be able to adjust as we go. If someone's waiting for everything to be perfect to mm -hmm. start, they'll never start. So the biggest mistake is not starting. Second, mm -hmm. trying to take shortcuts. I learned this the hard way. One of our first products, mm -hmm. we send it in, it's selling like crazy. Mm -hmm. The first time I had a product inspection done on the product where someone goes to the factory, mm -hmm. they take videos, they mm -hmm. take pictures, they send you like this 25 some page report mm -hmm. and show you where it passed and where it failed. It was good. Mm -hmm. So the second batch, because mm -hmm. we sold very quickly, I thought, mm -hmm. oh, okay, it's a good supplier. I can <laughs> trust them. I don't need to do a product inspection. I'll save myself about $250. <laughs> Big mistake. Big mistake. It cost me twenty thousand okay. dollars. Because the second batch, the supplier used inferior material. So when the customers would buy the product, it started breaking, started falling apart, mm -hmm. having problems. Mm -hmm. I started getting returns, mm -hmm. A to Z claims, mm -hmm. um, so-called credit card chargebacks, mm -hmm. all these issues. Mm -hmm. And my account was at risk of being suspended. Mm -hmm. So I had to do this huge removal order, get them mm -hmm. all taken care of, had to dispose of those, mm -hmm. go back to the supplier, renegotiate, mm -hmm. ended up losing twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars on that one effort to save. 250. Okay. So my point is, yeah. don't take shortcuts. Shortcut. Move to action quickly, plan the best you can, mm -hmm. but don't take shortcuts because mm -hmm. the future will punish you for that if you do oh, it. Geez. I guess that's already pretty clear. Don't take shortcut. And the second thing is, you need to take action right now. So yeah. <laughs> like, why are we waiting? Yeah. Every day we wait, mm -hmm. that's one more day of our life gone. Exactly. I, it's a weird thought, Andy, but I think about this a lot. I'm a little strange, but I understand. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, we never get back. Right. Tomorrow's gone. We don't get it back. <laughs> we can't time. go back and live unless you have a really cool time machine, let me know. <laughs> so that motivates me to act now when you see an opportunity right. and you've planned and calculated the best that you can, sure. but you you realize there will be problems along the way, mm -hmm. you move to action and you learn as you go. And right. I think that's the adventure of being an entrepreneur is you're actually making money based mm -hmm. on things you're doing. You're taking risks. Right. You're going through ups and downs. You understand what it's like to feel broken and crying. Mm -hmm. And then the next day you're like, hey, this is working. Mm -hmm. You feel alive. Okay. I, I don't think a nine to five can compete with that. That's already uh, answered that question. And the last which is gonna be, how is just one time course uh, structured and how you know it will have the new sellers learning from A to Z and start their business uh, Absolutely. with Amazon? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna start my answer to your question in a strange mm -hmm. way that most people won't, but I think it's so important today because mm -hmm. there's so much posturing mm -hmm. and fakeness that goes on today in the internet. Mm -hmm. Every coach mm -hmm. with just one dime, mm -hmm on a regular basis, right. they have to send me screenshots, our team, we have a mm. team who manages this, okay. screenshots, other Seller Central account, right. so we can see the money they're making. Mm -hmm. They also have to send us not just that, because mm -hmm. it's one thing to move money, mm -hmm. it's if you're not profitable, it's another thing to make money. They also have to send us a profit and loss report on regular basis throughout the year, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that we know their stores aren't just making money, but they're growing. I if see. they're not doing this, mm -hmm. we fire them as a coach. I see. In other words, they have to know the product. They have to know the industry because mm -hmm. Amazon's changing constantly. And as, unless mm -hmm. someone is in it doing it, mm -hmm. at some point, they're not going to have the knowledge needed to help the students. I so see. I just want to make that really clear. Okay. It's something that we hold uh, very proudly. I don't mean in an arrogant way, but I think it's so important people see that. I see. What we do is two things, Andy. Number one, we train people how to build an Amazon business. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a course, it's five courses, it's a membership, it's a community. Mm -hmm. We even research products for them. They get mm -hmm. one-to-ones, they get hours of live coaching every mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. We, as a team, mm -hmm. teach them mm -hmm 
how to do this. We take all the mistakes we've made mm -hmm. and all the victories mm -hmm. and we share it with them so they don't have to make as many mistakes along the way. Mm -hmm. And let me explain, a mistake mm -hmm. is not failure, mm -hmm. giving up is failure. Right. So that's the first thing, it's called mm -hmm. Amazon FBA Mastery. Once they're in, they're in for life mm -hmm. and we teach them everything from A to Z. Every week we come out with new videos mm -hmm. or updated videos mm -hmm. along with quizzes mm -hmm. so that the content is always fresh. Okay. So they're learning from people with their, their hands in the mud, their mm. feet on the ground, mm. doing it. Okay. Second, we also have done for you. And that's where they invest in us. Mm -hmm. It's a much higher fee. Mm -hmm. It's a minimum of 30,000 in fees alone, mm -hmm. just to start. Mm -hmm. But for people who have capital, but don't have time, <laughs> and they don't want to take the hassle and the time to learn how to sell on Amazon, mm -hmm. they say, look, we will invest our money here because we know this is the fastest growing market sector in the world. Mm -hmm. You grow that for us. Mm -hmm and we receive profits off of that. They receive profits, we receive a revenue share off of that as mm -hmm. it grows. So that is the other model we have. And, and what we do is we have teams in different parts of the US. We have a warehouse in China, we have a warehouse in Vermont, we have a warehouse in New Jersey, we have full-time staff in China. Like we have entire teams devoted right. to building out these, not just stores, but brands. Right. And then what's really cool is the people investing, mm -hmm they own the business. If they one day say, hey, I wanna sell the business, right. they can do that. I see. Or if they wanna step out, they can do that. They have control of that business. Right. They're paying us mm -hmm. to grow that investment for them. Right, so in other words, when you do this investment and you make a small brand with Amazon, later on, if you decide you wanted to sell that business, you can do that. This is actually still a big potential a lot of people um, still looking for this kind of business that yeah. they wanted to purchase, you know, um, from your um, Amazon store or Amazon brand uh, that you already create with your business. So it's a lot of opportunity that people wanted to buy this kind of business, Amazon, then, you know, they're gonna uh, run the business themselves after that. I wanted to say thank you so much, uh, Seth, that you <laughs> already, you know, spare your time to Absolutely. come to meet me and, um, yeah. you know, to do this podcast. If you want to uh, learn more about the Amazon uh, free video, you can just go to projectofmylife.com slash J-O-D. And on, I put also the link in the description below, so you can just uh, go to that link. Hopefully, you will uh, excited to start your business, start your journey, making money online on Amazon. Just one them is not only just a course; it is also a community. We mm -hmm. gonna help each other. When you join, then you know if you have any doubt, if you have any question, or maybe uh, you wanted to, um, you know, have a problem in your business, you have a pitfall. You can always ask in the community and community is gonna always help each other and we're gonna uh, give you the best answers and um, suggestion what you need to do um, in order for you to succeed in your Amazon uh, journey. Guys, I hope you massively enjoyed this conversation with Andy. Again, thank you, Andy, for flying all the way from San Francisco for us to meet and talk. Um, guys, this is just a little tip of the iceberg of what you can do. We just barely scratched the surface. We could probably spend two to three hours That's talking right. about more stuff. But my encouragement to you, take action. Mm -hmm. Don't wait around. If you want us to build an Amazon store for you, mm -hmm. go to justonedime.com slash D, standing for done, F, standing for four, and Y, standing for you. And then if you are asking us to train you, then just go to justonedime.com slash freedom. And that is our membership that Andy also referred to as well. You guys have an awesome day.